Great combo, right? But unrealistic. What about this one? <laughs> the same. That's not a realistic street fight combination. But this one is. <clears throat> and on this video, I'm going to give you three more realistic street fight combinations. If you ever need to defend yourself, it's important that you learn these. But first, why is it that movies are using these long combinations? Well, if a trained fighter like me hit someone, it would just take one shot and it would be over. Like this right here when I was in the Blacklist TV show. Hello, Lord. Now I know that was not a fight scene, but just so you know what would really happen. And if there was fight movies where they all ended with one punch like that, they would be pretty boring. Because if you learnt how to punch, it would just take one punch and the fight would be over like that. Now, I'm gonna show you combinations rather than single punches. I've done videos on them, but with the combinations, sometimes you would have to throw more than one punch because if a punch misses and it doesn't land right and the person in front of you is still trying to attack you, you need to throw multiple if you wanna defend yourself. Like imagine this, I'm here with this guy and I'm moving around. He throws a punch at me, he misses, and because he's moving, I throw overhand right, get sloppy, I end up in this position here, and his arm, yeah, he's got an arm, is over my head there. What am I gonna do? I'm, I don't wanna just stand back right up like this, because if I do this, there's a chance I get hit there, boom, 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 boom. Then the fight could be over. But instead, I've come over, I've missed, what I want to do is I want to drill in this left hand to the body, boom. So it's kind of like a two punch combo right there. So it's like a one, one. If you think about it, if someone gets hit, I've missed that one, with that there, their hands are going to come down. They'll probably come forward. But at this time, I want to come back and throw my other punch, the right hand over the top. So it will be like a right hand, down. But then again, if you've got here and you threw that one, and maybe his arms on top of your hair, you can't throw any more, throw it again, throw it again, throw it again, throw it again, until you can finally pop, come up and throw one upstairs like that. <laughs> and this is actually something that can very well happen. Like the third combo, what I'm gonna show you on this video, is what I used in a fight when someone bigger attacked me and dragged me to the ground. But before I show you that, it's important that you understand combo number two, which is what I seen someone do when I was a nightclub doorman, and I was pretty impressed. The guy was only around five foot six, and there was a big bully guy standing in front of him, laughing, and he pushed the smaller guy that hard that he fell and landed on his backside. The big guy was laughing, looking at his friends, and he was there, had a few drinks, thought he was the man. The little guy got up, he shook it off, got in a fighting stance, looked very calm, and he done this. <laughs> exactly like that, actually. He threw a right hand to the body, the guy was moving back, and he threw a big wild left hook that missed, but he put his weight onto his back foot, then he come over with the right hand to the chin, and that combo right there, the right hand to the body, the left hook, even though it missed, right hand on the chin, guess what happened? The fight was over. And I know that the guy didn't come up and think, right, I'm gonna throw a two to the body, a hook to the head, a right hand. He's obviously actually trained in a martial arts where he's through that combination over and over and over again. So it makes a kind of second nature to him to give him the confidence to get up and throw a combination rather than what I've seen so many times as a nightclub doorman, people on the streets, uh, uh, and they're like scared, or, or they're like bouncing around, then all of a sudden, uh. nah mate, nah mate. If you can train a martial arts, learn boxing, it will be a game changer for you. And I've got loads of videos on this channel that can teach you these punches. Now the punch combo that worked for me when I got taken to the ground of a big guy in Sunderland. Now I'm sorry, but I need to stop the video right there. And before I tell you what happened when I got into a street fight with a bigger guy back in Sunderland, I need to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is a supplement that I take daily from the amazing company Renew by Science. This is NAD Plus Complete. And if you've never heard of this supplement, you should definitely do some research and find out about it. I think everyone should be taking this. You know, when we get older, we naturally slow slowed down and this has something to do with our NAD levels dropping. Now imagine if we could increase them NAD levels, how much better life would be. But not only does it help with your energy levels, it also helps with memory and cognitive functioning. As well, this supplement increases your metabolism. It also contains
against NMN and NR. Studies show that people who are taking this feel sharper and they can concentrate even better. As you may know, when people get older, they generally put on weight. And there's studies that say this helps reduce that. And Renew by Science NAD Plus has got liposomal technology, which means when you take this supplement, you get all of the benefits of it. But again, don't take my word for it. Do your own research. And when you realize how good this is and why you need to be taking it, then go to renewbyscience.com and use code BOXING and you will get 10% off their supplements. And if you don't like it, they'll give you your bloody money back. What more can you ask for? Now, let's talk about what happened when this big guy dragged me to the ground and we had a street fight back in the day. He was actually on top of me. He was panicking. He was trying to wrestle me around. What I did, I got my head under his arm and just waited there because I knew he couldn't do anything until the fight got back on its feet. And I was on my feet and I'm like this and I'm fainting. And I'll show you the combination that I threw, then I'll break it down for you. <laughs> oh, that's kind of what happened in the fight as well. Exactly like that. I threw a straight right hand, straight left hand, straight right hand. But like you're seeing there, before the last right hand landed, it was over from the 2-1. But this is all because I know how to punch. So you should definitely learn this. And I've got a video right here showing you how to box in just four minutes. Click here and watch this video next.